Alright guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, this box was waiting for me on the front porch. And I kind of have an idea of what's inside. Not necessarily. Um, a company did reach out to me and ask me to check out their product just to see if I could find a use for it in a medical environment. And I said absolutely. Uh, because for this particular situation, I know for a fact I had to do an install and I wanted one of these to do my install because doing constant measurements uh, was an absolute pain and it slows production down to a crawl. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what is going inside right here. Kind of excited. I have never seen one of these in person. So if it's what I think it is, then this is going to be a first for me. All right. Comes in a old white box. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay. Well, there is a case inside the box. And I can feel the foam inside, so it, it seems to be packaged rather well. All right, so we got uh, a black carrying case. Zippers on the side. All right. Okay, uh, guys, this is going to be super cool. All right. So this is a 360 degree, 12 line professional laser level. And if you guys have never used a laser level before, this is going to be a game changer. I promise you that. So uh, first off, we have an instruction manual, which basically goes over some of the functionality. So this laser level has uh, horizontal and vertical. So two different, two different verticals and a horizontal. And I'll, I'll light it up so that you guys can take a look. I hope it's pretty bright. Uh, some of them are not very bright. Some of them are red beams. Some of them are green beams. Uh, given that this guy is all green, I would say it's probably a green beam laser level. And in the kit, let's go ahead and go through some of the things it says it has. One of them is a stand. Now, this isn't just any stand. This one here does have spiked feet, so it will generally stay put. But it also has a screw hole in the bottom for a pole mount or for a tripod. So some of the larger professional tripods have this thread, but in the top, this is a quarter 20. This is the standard for most cameras. So this would be like a camera mount. And I can see that right on the base of this guy. So it's got a quarter 20 and check this out. It's got fine adjustments. Yeah, so if you want to move the laser left to right, that's how you do it. You got micro adjustments right on your stand. Very cool. I like that. Uh, what else comes in the kit? I have two batteries. Okay. And these batteries are really original because at first they look like a standard battery, but look, the DC input port is on the battery. And I always tell people that this is a good idea to put DC ports on things that you can throw away kind of easily because that is the point that gets the most damage. If it's charging and something comes up and slams into it, let's take a look at the uh, charger right here. So it plugs into the side of the battery like so, and that's how you charge it. So you can charge the battery without having it in the laser level, which is super cool. Normally you have to buy an expensive charger or you have to charge it while it's in the laser level, which decreases your ability to use it because now it's got to be in proximity to a plug. They included two batteries, and these are 6,000 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt batteries, so that you should get a reasonable amount of life out of those. That's the, um, the charger that I just mentioned. Let's see, what else we got? Okay, so, Remember I was talking about the pole adapter to mount on probably more professional tripods. Here is a quarter 20 to that pole mount adapter. So you could technically mount this on a pole and then mount your laser level on this. 
Or to simplify it, you just use this guy right here and screw it onto that. Very cool. It's got the adapters. A scissor lift plate. Now a scissor lift plate is what you use if you need to make micro adjustments for elevation. So it's a scissor lift because it's got two beams in the middle and a screw and as the screw pulls on the scissor it rises up and it gives a nice even elevation change. So if you need to make micro adjustments, um, let's say you are on a, a surface like this and you want to level out to another countertop or something, this is what you would use it for and you can also use this to make uh, compensation for, let's say you're installing a one inch thick marble countertop. Well, you could actually account for that with this laser level scissor lift plate. So you can raise it up or down just a little bit to make up for other material that you might be using. So it's, it's kind of an adapter. It's very cool that they threw that in there. I've never had to use one before, but having one in a nice carrying kit, that's a huge plus guys. What else do we got? I have a remote. Heck yeah. Your laser level, having a remote is pretty good. So I've got a uh, horizontal, vertical, and I've got some other functions on that. Not completely for sure. And I guess this might be the user manual, this uh, QR code on the back. Nice little touch. All right. Okay, so this is an interesting contraption. So we have a magnetic base. Oh yeah. So if you're working around I-beams or any metal objects, this one here might come into play in a medical facility because if I'm uh, working on um, booms and lights or something, we can actually attach this to I-beams and so forth. But um, So it's got a cant screw which adjusts the tilt and it's got a rotational micro adjustment and it's got an elevation micro adjustment. Take a look at that. So that's pretty cool. So you could make all the adjustments you need in one little package. And we have an adapter plate here. Now I'm not completely for sure how this adapter plate would be used. I can see that it's got keyhole slots and it is ferrous. So we can use it um, if you're mounting it to wooden beams or something. So there, there is a function for it. I just, I'll, I'll have to read up on it and see how professionals use these metal adapter plates. And that's it. Then there's the case. So this is the laser level itself. Now I can see it's got a little LCD readout. We're gonna power it up and go ahead and take a look. Let's see if these batteries have uh, charge on them oh holy cow okay okay and you can hear it beeping right there that beeping yeah so the beeping is telling you that it's it's not level and you can see right here it's got a kind of a pendulum type effect with your laser line that is just the nature of how these things work it's got an internal balance system and it will balance itself to a certain degree. So even if you're not on a flat plane, to a certain degree, it will tell you, you know, or, you know, it'll just level it out. So let's see, here is the quarter 20 stud on the bottom. There's a quarter 20 stud here so that you can mount in multiple different ways. I don't, I don't really know how else you would use that, but there's, you know, options and I love options. So let's see, here's the remote. Let's see if, Let's see if I need batteries, power. All right, I will have to figure this guy out later. When I do an actual demo on this guy, I'm definitely gonna use the remote because that's gonna be a lifesaver. Now, you can see right now, I've got it on a horizontal plane, and now we can switch it to a vertical plane, which it turns on the side laser beam, which you can see, I can show you right there. And let's see. What else can we do? Oh, it takes little to no pressure on these buttons right here. Little to no pressure at all. And look at all those laser lines. 
Now, you might be thinking, why would you use something like this? Well, one of the, the uses that I can think of for sure is to mount this guy on a tripod, like a camera tripod. You level it out according to one patient monitor in one patient room. You install the wall mount, which is, you know, like one of these T-tracks. The laser line will make sure that it's plumb and level. And all you got to do is measure out the first one so that the cross beam right here is actually to the a corner point of what you're installing. And then all you got to do is move this to the next patient room or the next bay, mount your next one, and then move to the next one, mount that one. This one will decrease the time to install tenfold. And it's, it's going to be an amazing little accessory. Now, it does have a lot of laser beams shooting out all over the place, but you can adjust that. Look at that. Make sure that everything, let's say you're hanging paintings down the hallway. Hospitals and uh, generally clinics and stuff, they have a standard for around about how high they want all the paintings in the hallway. And you have to make sure that they're all standardized. Well, this is how you do it. You mount this guy on a tripod, you take it down the hallway, you mark out exactly where you want to do the install, and then you press on to the next one. And it's really that simple. The device is designed to be a force multiplier. So you take one measurement, you make sure that one unit is set up how you want. You can square up the beam. That's why we have elevation and we have rotational axes right here is so that we can adjust it exactly how we want and then duplicate it multiple times. And that is going to be so nice. So guys, that is the CC professional laser level. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to have so much fun playing around with this guy. Let's see, I'm going to power it off. Now given, I have not read the manual yet on this. So, right there, power. Take the battery off, you can change it out with another battery. Keep on going. So everyone, the CC, professional laser level, comes with everything you need in a kit and this is definitely going to be one of those things, even if you only use it once a year, this thing's going to save you so much time, it's going to pay for itself the first time you use it. Guaranteed. And it's just another tool in your arsenal. Thanks for watching, guys.